Good morning. Welcome to another tutorial from Akeka. It's Frank. It's Frank speaking here. And this video, we'll be learning how to make the Dutch roof. The Dutch roof is what we can see on the roof type here. If you're wondering where we're looking at this, this is a group chat where different people come in and request different videos depending on what is really bothering them, what they don't know how to do on Archicad. Alright, so I mentioned the Dutch roof earlier and we can see over here this kind of roof pattern that you find in a house with a proper hip roof and then somewhere along the line you see this kind of gable end popping out. If you want to be able to join the group in this video, um, click on the link in the description of this video and you'll be there. That's it, let's dive in. So the first thing is you want to have a building that you roof. So let's just go with a hypothetical building. All right. I won't take the time to design a building from scrap, like from start to finish. So if you are not that impressed with what comes out, that's not the goal. Next, I'm going to like give it some heights. Okay, so 3.6 meters. I'm going to go to the next floor. Just use a slab here. Uh, let's just bring that slab from here. It's going to be faster. All right. I hope you can see the shortcuts at this portion of your screen. So I'm using Control V. I had used Control X earlier to cut, and now I am pasting. Then I'm going to offset this in all directions by 900 millimeters. After this, I mm, let's take a look at what we have on the 3D. Ignore this, ignore this. This is what we're working on at the moment. Please, the method I'm using right now is not the standard. This is just so that we get something real quick and exemplify the main purpose of this tutorial. So Next, I'm going to draw the roof. So I'm going to go to the roof tool, change the roof type to um, multi-plane as opposed to single plane. Then I'm going to just start drawing. For anyone who's bothered about why I am not using um, the square method or any of these, it's so that Oh, I'm not concerned about these dimensions. That's why I'm using the square method because the building is not square, obviously. And why I haven't adjusted this, I can do that from elevation. So, here is the roof. The next thing I want to do is extend this elevation marker so I can see it from that elevation view. I believe that makes sense. So, that is E01 and it's open on this view. So, once I click on this, uh, I find that elevation here. Then I can drag the roof from its current level, pick it at its tip and drop it right here. Alright, so we have something like this and I think the pitch is about 45 degrees. So you can have a different pitch but that doesn't really matter. So once we have this, the next step is we want to open this portion. In order to do that, you select the roof right click on it so right click anyway as long as the roof is selected then click split into single plane roofs this is a very important part of what we're about to do so once i click on this what akika does is it will warn us that all of these will no longer be considered as one roof rather they will be considered as individual segments of a complete roofing system in other words rather than one roof we'll be having one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I think 11 or 12 different roofs. Once I click OK here, that is done. So you see this is one, this is one, this is one, and so on. So uh, I was counting how many we had earlier. All right, it's 11. Anyone wondering how I knew it's 11? I can see all selected 11 items over here. All right, so that said, let's go to the next step. The next step is to view it from the roof plan once again. And this time around, we want to draw a line at the point where, um, let's look at our reference. We want to draw a line where we expect this point to be, a horizontal line. So, 
it's a construction line by the way so i'm just going to pick this say from around here draw it to this point after doing that i'm going to select use the arrow to select this roof segment if i can't pick it from here i can pick it from here then select any one of the edges and rather than expand like this i'm going to use this that says insert new node once i click on that i drop here then i take this and drag it to this point i repeat the same thing for this other segment so insert a new node here then drag this to this point then i pick this last portion lastly insert one node here insert another node here then pick this portion and bring it here i could also take it to any of the sides all right i prefer the side so that there's no extra node in the center here and once i'm done with this let's check out what we have on the 3d now we have the dutch roof system but it's open which is good this is exactly what we wanted to get all right but as i mentioned it's open if we look at what we have in the reference we have this louver like system covering it so the next thing i would want to do is open the elevation view and then i can see this then next i am going to draw a morph here the morph is not going to be everything it's just part of what i need so i'm going to use the polygonal morph not the rectangular free rotator any of the others i'm going to use the polygonal morph so i'm going to click on this point take the cursor all the way up here to this point to this then going here by 75 millimeters you could use different dimensions depending on what you want to achieve okay then here here and close it up so i have something like this but that's still not all so i'm going to go over to the 3d view all right then i'm going to select the morph then i'm going to use the push pull to give it some thickness in this case i want something of around um 100 mm all right so i'm also going to set the color to white at least that's the color i have in the reference so i'm going to click on this then i'm going to click here then i am going to also drag ctrl d i click from here drop it right here now let's check it out on the 3d again and then we can see that this has come in and just fits in place but that's not all we can see that this is still very much open so the next thing i want to do is i'm going to go find a louver object so i'm going to go into the object tools here and search for louver all right so the specific one i want is this one the vertical gable louver. then once i have it i can drop it anywhere on the plan extend it such that it's going to be slightly longer than this portion then i'm going to drag it to place it a bit behind not so that there's still a bit of allowance here in front if you look at the reference image once again you can see that we have that um recess right there it's not a very clear image but if you join the group you should get to see this in hd that said i'm also going to move this to the next floor for anyone wondering why i'm moving it to the next floor it is because it will be difficult to locate on the 3d if i had left it where it was it would have been located somewhere inside here and when i'm trying to manipulate or work with it on the 3d it's going to be a problem next thing i want to do is now view it from the elevation point select this click here and then use the stretch height to drag it down a bit and some parts of it is hidden behind the roof as we can see so we want all these other parts to go away we want only this portion to be retained so what we're going to do is we are going to bring in the solid elements operations too all right this particular one once i click on this the next thing i want to do is select this stream as a target then select this individual roof 
um, planes as the operator then I'm going to do subtraction with upward extrusion and what that does is it tells Akikaj I want you to subtract this so that it doesn't feel like it's piercing into the roof it doesn't feel like it's entering into the roof material itself then every portion above this take it away and I'm going to press execute and that just happens all right so now that I've been able to do that one last thing to do is to set the color for this item I'm going to set it to titanium white and now we have something very close to what we had in the image the same person who had made this request also wanted to learn how to do the detailing that we can find on this roof we can see the shingles here they look quite realistic there are some gutters on the edges we have also on these edges here valley cover and um, i said valley covers yes heaps and valley covers basically and to do that you are going to need to have card image on your pc card image is a plugin for archicad you can see this thing up here ci tools it's what i use to do that so what i want to do is i want to select all the roofs okay now how i did that was i selected one and i pressed alternate g alternate g helped me to close this item here that says suspend group if i press alternate g again you see that it's no longer active if i press it one more time you see it's now active and once the groups are not suspended all of these will be selected because they were part of a group the group that was the entire roof at the beginning so now that i have this next thing i want to do is click on ci tools go to coverings and then i go to roof coverings all right from in here i am going to and by the way it always remembers what you set last so that's why it's coming to here but I'm going to go to cladding. I'm going to choose the cladding type. So it doesn't just work for shingles. I could use it for corrugate roofs. I could use it for rib. I could use it for Spanish tiles. I could use it for the normal tiles. And you are free to play around with it. If you want to get card image, you go into centralinnovation.com. It's not a free plugin. And you pay for it. That said, I'm going to specify the dimensions of the shingles as I see fit. The values I have here already work for me, so you are free to copy them. Then I'm going to specify whether or not I want framing. In this case, I want. There's a completely different video on how to use card image, by the way. I'm just doing this in response to the request that I wanted to know how all those details were done. So for the flashings, we can see barge flashings there are no barges in this roof it's a hip roof but there are the hip and the ridge flashings these particular ones i can set their material i could set their dimensions there are the apron flashings there are the valley flashings and then of course there are the cutters the roof cutters so i'm going to leave all of this as is and i'm going to say okay and akikar will just take a few seconds and be like voila and there we go so we can see how detailed this is now there are cases when you are done with this and you find a few issues like see what we have here now the reason for this is because of the framing we mentioned earlier and i'm not going to attempt to change it rather what i'm going to do is expand the morph that i had made here earlier all right so um, rather than expand i think i'll just redraw mm, take away the morph completely and then get back to the elevation view i'm going to see that opening if i want to be able to see this with more clarity i can quickly switch to the simplified formats and it's easier to view this way so i can tell what line is what line i select the morph tool all right then i start from um, over here go all the way to the top here to this point then this time around I want to take it to here to this point to 
here and close it up so now you see we have something like this but it's still flat just as we gave it some thickness in the previous one that was earlier deleted i'm also going to specify this as 100 millimeters and going to change the paint color to titanium white then i'm going to come back here on this specific floor mm, here it is drag it Control d so this point comes here and yeah i was anticipating that it's having a bit of clash with the wood so i'm going to select it one more time and then bring it to the front by say 20 millimeters i could also click on the next floor and i will be seeing the card image roof system displayed on that floor i can't see the one for the exact roof i need but i can tell enough to know that i have done this correctly all right if you gain value from this video leave a like share to someone who needs it give comments on any parts of it where you do not have clarity if you have something else you want to learn on Archicad, request for it in the comments or join the whatsapp group in the link of this video i look forward to seeing you in the next one and if you've not subscribed please do that bye for now